Kings and queens, they have been all around through history that ruled the masses and used their supreme power and influence to craft a kingdom. They have been around from the ancient beginnings of civilization. Trust me, I played it Sid Meier Civilization game. So anyways, I am talking about monarchy. We will spread the monarchy ideals and laws in a Minecraft world. There's like two types of monarchy, but we will stick with the absolute monarchy because we need that goddamn supreme power. The very first step is to declare ourselves into a monarchy. It is to, of course, finding a population with sufficient amount of intelligence. Well, in my quote-unquote research, the only ones that are capable of resembling a civilization in a Minecraft world is a village, which is first step is to find a village and to explore. I mean, spread our monarchy beliefs. Now that we have found a village, we must get to know on how this village functions, their beliefs, lifestyle, its geography, and how they can easily be influenced. Which is step number two, investigate, explore, and just do basic Minecraft survival stuff and settle in. Or steal someone's home, that counts as Minecraft survival. After that whole Minecraft and investigating stuff, it's now time to move on and express our monarchy ideology. But how? Well, it's to show them how good monarchism is and suggest you become the first ever king or queen. Just a monarchy for now. If that didn't work, we must create scarcity, destroy their sustainable farms, kill their iron bottoms, blow up their farms, and of course, don't let them see you're behind all of this or a tragic event that will force them to join your monarchy regime like this. Oh no, an unexpected raid that I did totally summon. I'll save this village. I'll save the day. I feel like a TikTok POV douchebag or something. Oh crap. Uh, uh. Don't worry guys. I, the monarchy guy, save the day. Uh, you guys are in my legal control now by the way. We have now secured and ready to establish the monarchy regime in the village. It's now time to create our new empire by crowning ourselves as the monarch of the state. Of course, they're not jobs, they won't mind it. And plus, you're the hero of the village. Find the tallest area of the village and start building your castle or palace as your new home. Uh, I'm not really good at building but this will do for presentation purposes. Put your constitution in the center of the castle. A throne room? some monarchy like banners and also place them in the village if you're done and some guards uh, just don't forget to feed or pay them. now that ruling forever is fun and all you do need a family to take your place if you die or get bored which is step number seven creating a dynasty and securing it you can use mods like minecraft comes to like reborn for this to be more realistic but I'm sticking with Minecraft villagers. My do that playthrough someday. Create a family and put them in your castle as administrators. You can adopt or kidnap some of them for future heirs. Someday you will be king. Or you don't need to breed with villagers for heir. Just have a resembling family. A player can do it too. It doesn't need to be villagers. The possibilities are endless. And abolish all existing ideologies in the village because we don't want problems for our dynasty to encounter in the future. Uh, just don't put a child to be a leader because history is rough on that. <coughs> Now that we finished settling and creating our dynasty, we can now begin to reform and improve infrastructure to our new kingdom. Since we have been treating them a trash since day 2, the outcome of our kingdom will be pretty bad if we do this every day. So we must now make the people satisfied and loyal for our dynasty and the monarchy by building statues of yourself for ego massive farms for the peasants, also farms that will give you food and peasants will work for it. Of course some road renovations because we don't want to walk on dirty pathways, yuck. And probably make more houses for your growing population and workstation houses. 
for villagers to make it easy for you to mark off which job will you exploit. We have now improved our infrastructure, made the people happy for now. We can now move on and expand our security and military by I mean creating a functioning defense force. Some royalist guards if a rebellion comes, you can trust them. An exil area if there's ever a scenario in the village that you're in danger or against you. You can just go there and forget all your problems or just exile people you really hate. Create a military base for military operations. Create more iron golems. A wall because monarch kingdom stereotypes. Also a good way to secure the village and make it only a single entrance. A jail system for imprisoning villagers you think is a little sus or if you don't want them to be jailed, of course there's another option. Public death penalty. We have a good economy and a good security for our kingdom. What could we add more to improve this empire? Well of course, more power to me, which is step number 8, the iron fist. We don't want our people to be too comfortable to do radical stuff in the background, you know. More statues or monuments for your people to be reminded they are in your dynastic hands. And expand your rules and regulations that can develop fear. You see, fear is a great tool to control a high population. Don't you know how to read? Ironic for a librarian. Heard you guys talking about democracy. Well, I know where you guys can find it. Here! <coughs> Why are you looking funny at me, huh? That's for saying my walls are bad, Cyclops. Wait, wait, wait. Where's the other guy here? Oh, I see. Jealousy and laziness will not be tolerated. Hope you got your final words, Mr. Golem. Oh wow, a griefer, huh? Yeah, no more prison chances for you, bud. Now that fear is the new topic in our civilization, our next step is to implement the three Gs. Gold, God, and Glory. As for gold, monarchy really really appreciates gold because it's the symbol of royalty, wealth, and superiority. Frick diamonds, gold is better. You can get gold by mining it on the badlands or nether or... This is more fun. As for God, then of course we will implement a religion that the villagers will like. For me, I'll pick Nazism or what religion you like. I won't mind because Nazism is the appropriate religion to use during these dark times of Minecraft. Also make a religious building of what religion you have picked. And lastly is glory. We must expand until we can. Like finding a random village, convert them to your influence, or pillage some of them. For you know, good old sport. Create outposts to keep intact of future claims. Don't forget to explore some new lands and just keep expanding. We have done it, a successful kingdom. Some villagers died but it's for the greater cause of our kingdom. We can just repopulate them with farms and breeding chambers. So anyways, I'm going to be annoying for a second and ask for you to like and subscribe because to support my hobby or crappy content. Here's some videos I made in the past if you're a president type of guy, here's a video for you. And if you're a dictator kind of guy, there's also a video for you. That's it and happy ruling with your thumb.